Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about configuring Vader streams for your live high definition cable TV in Kodi. Uh, this is a great product. You can uh, purchase this product at http colon forward slash forward slash IPTV streams dot biz. I purchased the um, the uh, six month the 180 day service the neat thing about this is that you can purchase it through PayPal so you don't need to worry about credit card fraud or anything like that I'm configuring this on the connect box x96 that you can purchase at solusconnect.com but if you have any Android box and you have Kodi 17 installed you would uh, perform the task uh, as I do in this video. Also understand that uh, if you're using Kodi 16 you can still install Betastream. I'm using the post build. I prefer the post build because it's remained consistent. When other builds have been shutting down due to occurrences in the UK and some legal issues that are taking place here in the States um, the post build has remained solid so once you're in your build and as I stated before I'm using the post build but once you're in your build you'll go to the system menu item this particular cable TV service I'm excited about it because it's easy to set up that's one of the things that you're going to recognize in this video and it has a, a lot of channels and uh, most of the channels I, I want to just tell you all of the channels are in high definition once you're in the uh, system uh, menu you're going to go to the sub menu file manager okay this is where you're going to configure the source once you're in file manager you'll go down to add source or scroll down to add source after you click on source you'll be able to enter the name of the um, the uh, source file location which is http colon forward slash forward slash Baders dot TV forward slash repo V A D E R S dot TV forward slash repo. Change the source name to a name that will make more sense for you. So I'm changing it from repo to Vader Streams. Once you're done, click done. Now click your return button. And then you're going to click back on system again. Okay. Okay, now you'll scroll down to add-ons. And then you will click on install from zip file. You will scroll down to the source that you uh, just added. Click Vader Streams. Then scroll down to repository.vaderstreamstv.zip click OK or click OK on your your uh, remote control what will take place is that that zip file will install and as you see down there in the lower right hand corner you see that it's enabled now so now that you have uh, the Vader uh, install component added to your Kodi you'll have to inst you'll have to configure it but before we do that, 
I clicked on the return button and I'm going to scroll down to interface because to if you're in Cody 17 to be able to uh, enjoy the TV guide and the channels you're going to need to change your interface from X Fluence which is the default scan for Pulse you're going to change it to the default scan for Cody 17 which is Estuary. Click yes to keep the change. Now your layout for Cody 17 will change back to the default layout for Cody 17. So instead of it being set up like Pulse, it's going to have a different layout, but you'll have all of your add-ons. So I just clicked the return button on the remote control, got back to the default uh, menu screen for Cody 17, and I'm going to click on add-ons. After clicking add-ons, now I will go back to my repository section. And you see where I'm clicking on that in the upper uh, left-hand corner. Now click on install from repository. And now I will scroll down to my Vader stream repository and that will be towards the bottom because it's in alphabetical order. Uh, the other thing too about this Vader streams is that it has a lot of channels in various different languages as well. So you'll have Spanish, Latin, uh, channels from India, um, Italy, Germany, so it's a lot of great places. You'll click on video add-ons then click on Vader streams select install this will configure your PVR settings and uh, it will allow you to be able to set beta streams to show a TV guide and this is what's lacking in a lot of the cable TV services provided for Cody with beta streams you'll get a live guide after you've installed beta streams then the configuration menu will come up. After you have purchased the VetaStream product, you would receive an email that's going to ask you what would you like your pass username and password to be. You send that to the company and then they'll send back the information um, with your username and your password. You will take that information and input the username in your configuration settings and after you enter your username then you will have the opportunity to uh, click on password and add your password information if everything's correct then when you click uh, OK what will take place is that your configuration information will be present or your username and password will be present it will not disappear but if it's incorrect it'll disappear and you'll have to make sure you enter the information in correctly and as I stated before the other good thing is that um, the service has several different subscriptions that you can purchase. You have a one month, a three month, a six month, and a one year. So I think that that's great. Now you will scroll down to EPG settings. You only have to select one thing and that is merge M3U file. You're going to enable it. When you enable it, then you will be able to go down to EPG groups and there in EPG groups you'll be able to select all of the different channels you would be interested in. For me I selected the English channels UK, USA and um, 
Now, I forgot what the uh, what the other one is, but when the screen comes up, then uh, you'll see it. Oh, and then Canada. As I stated before, all the channels are in high definition. The service is priced ridiculously low when you consider all of the t channels you get. I mean, you're going to get Major League Baseball uh, uh, channels that are close to public viewing. You have to have a premium package to be able to see all of those games. You're going to be able to see all of those games, all of the NFL games when the NFL season starts, as well as your basketball and soccer and, and other uh, other sports. Once you've configured the channels you want, you're going to have to click OK several times on your PVR IPTV simple client settings. The reason being is that the Vader application makes it real easy to set this cable service up. It's going to go in and it'll configure all those settings for you. So you have to click OK several times. Eventually, you'll see in the upper right hand corner you'll see that the settings will indicate that they're configured and your guide uh, will also be configured and ready to import channels you'll have to click close on the uh, category setup that's where you configure the channels you want you may have to click it several times once you've configured your uh, Vader stream settings you're going to have to exit out of Kodi and then you'll open Kodi back up and it'll start the process of importing the guide information and other updates for Vader streams you may have to close Kodi several times before your guide will actually uh, load up uh, may, may, maybe one more time. I, I, so it might be two times that you have to restart Cody. But once you do go in your TV guide, if you click on a station and it does not appear or it doesn't start the station when you select some programming, then uh, what you'll have to do is just wait for the Veda stream to update. Just be patient. You'll see in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a tag appear that indicates Veda Stream is now up to date and video on demand is up to date. So here you, you see where you might as well wait before you go down to the TV section in Cody. Wait for the guide to upload all of the information and you can look at the progress of it in the upper right hand corner. Once it's complete, then you can go to your TV setting and enter into the guide. Now, as I stated, if you enter into the guide and the information is not there, do not be concerned. You just have to close out of Cody, get back into it, so that way the guide can update. So I think for this video, uh, I may have closed out of Cody two times to get the guide to actually update all of the required information. The other thing you're going to enjoy about the service, this Vader Stream uh, cable TV service, is that the streams are very reliable with no real buffering. I mean, it it's it's a pretty reliable stream. You will have to have a high performance video card in your Android box and at Solus Connect uh, we have two boxes that we sell uh, the Connect Box XL and the Connect Box X96 and those are awesome and powerful enough uh, for this service so if you have one of those devices uh, you will have no problem at all watching the uh, live cable TV. As you can see in the upper right hand corner the guide is being updated. So you'll see in a, a little bit I'll go down there and I will select TV and then I will go to guide. 
The other thing that's really cool about this uh, Vader Streams product is that you can also set up three connect boxes or Android boxes in your home to stream the service on different TVs. So that way people can be in other rooms watching different TV programming and it will not uh, interfere with other individuals watching other TV programming on the connect box or an Android box. Now, if you click on a channel, when you first configure uh, this product, when you click on a channel, if it doesn't start up right away, do not be alarmed. You just need to wait for the Vader Stream product to update. And if you look in the upper right hand corner, you see that an update has occurred and now it's current. So now I can go back to the programming I just selected, click it. And now it's able to switch to that channel, that programming, and you're able to watch your cable TV programming in high definition. So this is a great product. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy this VaderStream service. I'm pretty excited about it. I feel comfortable purchasing the product. As I stated, you purchase it by getting a PayPal account. As long as you have that PayPal account, you'll be secure in your connection. You don't have to worry about any type of credit card fraud. If you have any questions, visit SolusConnect.com and open up a live chat with us. Thanks for watching this video.